All right. Uh, good. Oh, it's almost noon. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen on uh, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, wherever else this happens to end up. Uh, this is your host, Jedi Guy, here with one of the final updates of my lightsaber. Um, a couple of we uh, day days, weeks, whatever uh, long ago, uh, I had completed my lightsaber. It had the upgraded um, soundboard, crystal chamber, the whole works. But uh, as you guys can tell from the beginning of this video, uh, I wired up the anti-vandal switches. I wired them both up so that they're supposed to blink in succession. So when this one turns off, this one's supposed to turn on and vice versa. That's the pattern that's supposed to be going. But for whatever reason, this one doesn't want to light up. Uh, uh, in a previous build when I had the Nano Biscotti, so it didn't have this alternating LED blinking pattern, uh, when it, uh, I wire both of their LEDs up to this LEDs, positive and negative, so whenever this turned on, these guys would be on. Uh, this one would show up bright as can be, this one just barely visible red. So I, I'm, I'm starting to think that it's a uh, broken button, but that's a good thing. Uh, it's, this lightsaber is supposed to represent myself, and I don't really think my dark side showing too much anymore. But I wanted this uh, this blinking pattern to let me know when uh, sleep mode is active, because when the soundboard goes into deep sleep mode, this blinking stops, and it'll just stay like that. Um, I've made another couple of updates besides just the rewiring. Um, let's see if I can do it one-handed. Yep, I can. All right, so. This crystal, I'm gonna try and zoom in on the crystal itself. There we go. All right, so the crystal itself is an amethyst crystal from my hometown of Thunder Bay. I managed to buy it at a local store. Uh, and it's illuminated with uh, a violet um, LED that I bought in bulk from uh, some guy on Amazon. He sent blue, pink, red, yellow, orange, white, and a collection of other different colors, 10 of each, um, but he didn't label them. They were all thrown together in a bag and just shipped out to me without any resistors like it was uh, advertised. So I kind of had to figure them out myself. Um, and it, it the, the video doesn't really do it justice because like this, you can't really see it. Even if I zoom in, you can just barely see it. But the crystal itself is like, it's a, it's a really nice shade of violet. Um, but beyond uh, fixing the LED, uh, for the crystal chamber because I finally think I found the correct resistor after doing days of research. Um, I also added the beads with uh, my cat's claw. The claw fell off on its own. I'm not an abusive owner. Um, but yeah, he'd like uh, race around my previous address, which was full of carpet, and one day uh, the claw just hooked on the carpet, I suppose. Um, I found it weeks afterwards, and he's all healed up now. But uh, that cat has been there for me more consecutively than any human being on this planet. So I want to take him with me wherever I go. And my lightsaber is always with me. Uh, this bead over here uh, was from when I was in grade 8. It was part of a bracelet that I wore consistently throughout uh, my Thunder Bay years. Uh, these next three beads and then this little thing here were part of a bracelet that my parents brought uh, from Ireland uh, for their 25th anniversary. Uh, wedding anniversary. Uh, they went to Ireland and they brought me back a collection of other uh, Irish things because they know I'm a fan of my Irish heritage. This was part of a bracelet, but unfortunately the bracelet broke. So I took the beads and I thought, you know what, why don't I throw these into a lightsaber? And that's what I did. This golden band I found on a bracelet on one of my twirling nights and it just kind of speaks to me. I don't know why. These last two beads are to separate the, the claw uh, of Cove of the Mighty Lion, and the uh, the entwined golden thing here. Uh, otherwise, the cloud would slip through and the whole thing would fall apart. I'm going to finish up the gluing process so that none of this falls apart while I'm twirling. But yeah, uh, I've got them tied together and glued here on uh, the D-ring. Uh, I've got the leather wrap. Uh, it's like... It's almost done. There's actually supposed to be a second strand here with a wolf claw at the end, but I don't have the wolf claw just yet, so you guys are going to uh, have to wait for that. But beyond that, there's uh, a few other upgrades that I'm going to be adding to this lightsaber eventually. 
not anytime soon, unfortunately, because we've got a lot of other things that my money has to go to. I'm going to quickly uh, tie up the lightsaber, so just give me a second. All right. All right, so now that that's done and over with, so as you guys can see, this button uh, stopped blinking. That indicates to me that it's in deep sleep mode. I can click any of these buttons and it'll wake it up, but I prefer clicking this one on the off chance that this one of the wires just switched out and it'd actually turn on the lightsaber if I click this button. So I'm just going to click this one, wake it up from sleep mode, and there we go. So, um... Yeah, this is what I've been spending my uh, my morning on. Also, um, another little update, the LED. I switched it out. I'm going to try and test out this new Mikri LED that I got from uh, Brandon Dale, who uh, purchased it from, um, not Irv, the other guy. What's the other guy? Nigon Electronics. Um, it's, it's a tri-cree LED, essentially, without the deep red or the royal blue. They're supposed to be blue and red. Um, the benefit of the knee Cree as opposed to the tri Cree is the knee Cree comes with a resistor built into the plate, so you don't have to worry about a resistor, or so I've been told. Uh, I've wired it up to be uh, purple, and I'm relatively satisfied with the color that came out. But yeah, when, when I turn uh, the saber on, it goes into this kind of mode, so. And it goes black, back to the blinking pattern. So. Uh, Finally, another update for my lightsaber. So there's the Nikri, fix the crystal chamber LED, wired up the blinking LED pattern, even if this one doesn't work. And the claw of my mighty lion, Kobu. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Look forward to more updates. There's not just the second uh, edition of beads, which have a lot more sentimental value than the next ones that are going on. But I've also got a, uh, an upgraded soundboard that I'm going to put on. Right now, I've got the Prism version 5.1 soundboard. I'm thinking about upgrading to a Crystal Focus version 8 uh, once I get a, a micro soldering kit and after I do a few more things with uh, my money that I'm supposed to be doing, all responsibilities and all that. Um, I'm also going to be switching out probably just this button so that I can save space so that I can expand the, the grip section so that the crystal focus has room. But yeah, lots of, lots of updates, lots of upgrades, and I'm looking forward to uh, testing this lightsaber out tonight. Hopefully I don't lose Kobo's claw. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little update video. Um, yeah, may the force be with you and follow your dreams.